Westchester teenager is dead after a crash just hours after Christmas. 18 year old Mark Valentine was riding in the back seat of a car when police say it hit a tree. Nine on your side reporter Roseanne Aragon spoke exclusively to Mark's brother. She joins us with how he plans to keep his brother's memory alive. Roseanne, it's a hard day for them. Yeah, Evan, his brother tells me he misses his brother so much. They were best friends. Tonight, his brother and loved ones are focusing on the way he made people smile and the legacy he leaves behind. I love my brother. I love you with everything I have, Mark. Rest in peace. I love you. Tonight, Eric Valentine is remembering one of his very first friends, his funny, loving younger brother. I talked to him about how important it is to study hard and get good grades and how that's just how it means everything in order to be successful because I cared so, so much about him. He was 18, a senior at Cincinnati Christian School. But just before 5 o'clock Saturday morning, a tragic accident would end his life. Mark was in the back seat of a car that crashed into this tree on Beckett Ridge Boulevard, the tree now adorned with love. All the love and support that everyone has shown is, is just that is all you can do, and it's just been very hopeful. His band of brothers now in his basement, their usual hand. Out. They say Mark was a joker, but also a good friend. They could only smile when thinking of him. He taught me to just not get too hung up on what people think of you. He's the most free-spirited man I know by far. Um, he would do anything for, for a good joke, a good laugh. He's going for business. I don't know if he was serious about comedy, but he was really into that. He's like, we, he's like, we are funny people, man. He's like, we need to take this up. We could write a script. Now the boys are writing a book of memories, filling each page with a new story of a man they'll never forget. He's been in all three of my dreams. I think about him all the time. You know, sometimes it's harder than others. Sometimes I'm more calm. Um, and sometimes I'm, you know, freaking out and where are you, Mark? I want you back. You know, I need you. You're my little brother. And, um, you know, sometimes you're going to be hard for the rest of my life. I'm not going to have him, but he'll always be there in my memories. I'll always be, I'll always be thinking of him. I loved him. <laughs> Much love for that young man. The family says they've received so much support through flowers, letters, phone calls, and they say it's those messages of love that mean so much. Evan, back to you.